Oh my god. They all look so indistinguishable <laughs> from one another. Game. Game. They all look like the same game these woke niggas be making. Why do all these games look the same though, chat? Someone needed an ESG check. It's totally creative. It, oh, everyone just at the same time decided they want black female protagonists. Has nothing to do with BlackRock or any other outside. Sweet baby! Sweet baby! Why does every indie game have to look the same? No! Get it the fuck out of here! Oh my god, bro. In collaboration with Sweet Baby, I told you. Oh my god. Sensitive game for sensitive people, chat. <laughs> no! No way, sweet baby! No way! <laughs> How you try so hard to be unique and like make the scene? <laughs> ah! Ah! Why is sweet baby making a game? Why is sweet baby making? What do you mean in collaboration with sweet baby? Hey, no way! The Nightmare, nightmare. It's gonna be certified garbage. They're still showing it. They actually admitted it. This is an L chat. L's in the chat. L's in the chat. It's woke, Winston. It's woke. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> I genuinely cannot believe that you are organically growing this channel by liking and commenting on the videos to push it up. And I thank you for not needing me to start every video by bringing up something as tasteless as a dead family member that I'm hoping to manipulate you into liking or subscribing or donating your hard earned money when I've not produced anything informative or entertainment, something of value that you feel would be worthy of exchanging your money for. It would be me asking for something for nothing. A sob story. This is cringe. Peel showed up on the show to OD on Xbox with Kojima about a game with Sophia Lillis in it. It's like a Mad Lib. She's the fan pick for April O'Neil, by the way the character that they recently race swapped but you know it's a cartoon who cares they can keep giving it to artists who are deliberately trying to fatten and ugly them up because you know politics and thank god they didn't make her ugly as hell too because i'm here to tell you that that factors into why america keeps losing as it pertains to representation of america at these game shows but the reason Peel is funny is because this guy reminds me of this sketch. Look it up, I'm demonetized enough as it is, but imagine my sob story in the link to my description. Please comment and subscribe, it's the only way, it's not manipulation. I quit my job, and my kids broke my Lego Millennium Falcon. I'm so sad, I'm so sad, won't you buy my game or my dad? I'm so sad, Millennium Falcon, broken dag. Yo, expecto patrono, my dad's PC is a stag, bro. And you just know, someone's building a Millennium Falcon in Lego Fortnite right now. And not just one you can walk into, but one that functions. This baby can fly. And as a real gamer, I can tell you the Kerbal Space Program has me salivating with the fun on the table but based on the comments on my recent gta video people clearly need their favorite influencer to have an opinion before they can use their brain see we don't need to agree on everything to come together so even and especially if you disagree with my sentiments i encourage you if you have a brain to subscribe because my favorite jewish journalist jason may be trying to destroy studios as phenomenal as what rocksteady used to be but no one can deny his body of work as a reporter speaks to his reliability. So when he says something about the frat boy culture inside of Rockstar sustaining damage and GTA not wanting to punch down, I listen. You don't have to. You can listen when it's convenient and all that waterfall of information is flowing over you in the future. But in the same way I listen during Saints Row, 
I'm listening now. Damn. I guess waffle makers and mimosas for brunch didn't save that game. But depending on the bootlickers that you ask, it's Liddy fam on God for real for real. And these games are bangers. And got people bussin' in a platonic and respectful way because only queer horny is okay for the polygons in a video game, right? Straight horny is toxic, my nigga. This heteronormative cisgender shit is really toxic, my nigga. And I'm so scared I be staying up at night because I don't feel safe and I don't feel seen and I don't feel represented and that's what they sound like. But I'm afraid I'm too heterosexual for it. And that's why a nigga talking about video games is the biggest threat this side of the fucking internet, apparently. Ask shift up of Goddess of Victory and MiHoYo of Star Rail and Genshin Impact how lucrative gaming is though. And now we on Jeff Keighley's puppet show. The word of the video is forced. And much like a turd you're not supposed to push that hard to get out, when I tell you I'm not a guy begging for people to follow me on social media because unless you're a big titty lady, odds are we ain't even gonna get along for a considerable amount of time with all my prickly as a porcupine opinions, right? These days, everybody needs to agree with each other because we can't stay friends and have the same opinions that is the end of the world. 500 of you showed up for the biggest live stream that I've probably ever hosted on this channel. I don't know, I don't watch my numbers, what am I? Ah, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have been more entertaining, but a game show without good game announcements destroyed me. Four hours of ads. Slop. Central. I admit my taste had me thirsty for Stellar Blade after news of Sony's distribution partnership, so maybe I'm biased, and you can tell me in the comment section what out of ten this show landed on, but for me, it was like a solid four. Five at best? I wanted to see the web-slinging and vehicle-driving Project Mugen. I wanted to see Doke V again, finally, after those devs claimed that when Crimson Desert was further along that they'd show it off. But I can tell you with zero shame, as usual, that Fortnite's got bigger things going on in that free game than any of these others combined. And maybe it doesn't feel that way right now, but I'm speaking in terms of how this will historically go down. Come back to this video since you think I'm wrong. I can't stand the Sony sloppification process that they've pumped the new Soylent God of War through, but of course I recognize free DLC as based. And I'm happy for the fans of God of War and hope you guys get a bike riding portion to match the cringe in Spider-Man 2 because creative director Brian Entehar said he refuses to make games if he can't inject his life is strange garbage that seems to be all the rage at these forced degenerate sweet baby parties that they're calling award shows these days. Give people stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want but make them like that stuff. What happened, my nigga? More cringe than E3 for all the wrong reasons. When thinking of Alan Wake, forced is the only word that comes to mind. If you had writers that made a race-swapped character sound like an actual FBI agent, people might actually have bought Alan Wake, but they didn't because you didn't. And I guess you're just gonna force this game like you did Deathloop? As I said in a tweet, that shouldn't be getting any traction because I don't beg people to follow me and these sentiments are, should be fucking blacklisted by shit, right? In the movie industry, Maharshal Ali had to fight for his career in refusing to go along with some lady-led bullcrap that radical identity politics lunatics needed to try to force onto a superhero movie. So beta tester, listen carefully. Sweet Baby helped Spider-Man 2 be way more forgettable than it might have been if instead of Mary Jane portions we could play more Venom or even Black Cat if they wanted a damn woman so bad. If instead of bike riding portions there was an extra boss fight, maybe Miles could fight a constantly rotating Sinister Six instead of just fighting like generic shadow henchmen inside Peter's mind for another forced Miles portion. Instead of a deaf black girl portion, there could have been a a strange murky mode where it feels like you can barely see and you're having to navigate strangely with your senses something that wouldn't be alien to somebody who uses the accessibility modes only for it to be revealed that you were playing as Matt Murdock the whole time you know a Marvel moment for your Marvel game but as I've made clear all of this takes a backseat to the pandering and woke is compromise that's why Flop Loop failed, Arcane. I'd have hype for Blade if I didn't expect Sweet Baby to tame it the fuck up. Sweet Christmas. 
Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. I haven't forgotten the repetitive death loop, the uninspired and unfinished redfall that shill journos were capping for. Oh, you just hate everything. Oh no, your words, they're hurting me. I warned Bethesda, doesn't care. And to avoid anything that they've renamed the creation engine to be, because Fallout 76 buried this motherfucker so deep, it sprung up in China. But here we go again. People capping for loading screens, and Bethesda brave enough to tell people that they're playing the game wrong. You, you don't like it? I'm going to write a response to your review. They're introducing paid mods again, by the way, in Skyrim. As people so astutely pointed out, it's a trial run for Poop Field. And when gamers mod fixes into that broken, boring, loading screen heavy experience, they'll be repackaging that and charging you for it. Sean Murray can hold his head higher. And Murray holding head higher had a reputation as a liar ass. That's saying something. 2023 is the year of the layoffs. Bungie gleefully nickel and dimed players for nearly a decade blatantly laughing at fans feeling forced to buy entire new content because of all the things that were locked inside of it that potentially they couldn't get any other way. It's FOMO incarnate. And they weaponized their almost free to play game to try to get away with this stuff. And they let them shill up and all of those Destiny fans that are proud to thought thought that game, bro. Good for you. I'm glad you're being satisfied and that the back of your neck ain't itchy. Wukong is what genuinely impressed the real gamers. Sega needed a dead hyena to dangle what we actually wanted in front of our tired and fun-starved faces. You should have heard me exclaim, Golden X? <laughs> Jet Set? Crazy Taxi? You know what I mean? I hope that games hit other people like that in a way that doesn't feel like it's just them being yanked. Because Alan, who bought it? had the dried, disgusting crust of sweet baby spent upon it. So of course it won. But you know what pronoun field and MJ look like a man too have in common? Not winning anything at even this, the wokest game award show in the world. And they'll point at their sales when it's beneficial for them to do so. But just like when they were really quiet about Miles Morales' standalone sales, how proud they are to sideline Peter Parker amidst such a glorious Disney downfall following behavior forcing and identity politics needing to be injected into things. Many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. We no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. They've been really open to exploring queer stories. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this, like I was just, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like the- There's a mother of, of two queer children, actually. All of our like gender non-conforming characters are in the background. One transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Narratives in which gay characters. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like I, I feel like I felt like we the people, the ones who pay to keep your things afloat, are here to let you know the more aware we are of your cancer, the less we'll fund it. And if you're so unimaginative that you can't hide this stuff from the, the dangling of the token characters that are clearly all that you have in your project. I mean, it's not enough. Sorry. Do better. Be better. That's what you guys say, right? To anyone new to Kyle, I've been here enjoying myself much longer than you can imagine. And I didn't need a posse to reinforce my beliefs on Anthem, Andromeda, Avengers, Saints Row, Gotham Knights, Redfall, Starfield, Spider-Man, Flat Chests, and Grand Theft Auto 6. If you tolerate it, they have no reason to back down. I don't need you to be upset, but some of y'all really want me to be quiet. Take your ass somewhere else. Who's forcing you to watch this? I won't be needing to convince anyone how woke these things are. The studios, quite frankly, are proud and eager to showcase just how woke they're making things behind the scenes thanks to the benefit of the doubt-ass grace that you shills have granted them. In a way, 
I should be thanking you. They're stupid enough to wear the thing that would make us not want it, like a badge of honor. This shouldn't need articulating from a goddamn gamer, but I can hopefully impress upon you that I want to be wrong. The reason I'm running my mouth about video games is because this cancer harms the industry, and without treatment, it will fester. And I guess we'll just have a Disney 2 going on. But if trillionaires can't get away with it and back off to regroup and rename and, you know, come at it from a different angle, how much clearer does the writing on the wall need to be before some of you assholes ask someone who's literate? It's not, it's not a problem that you can't read it, motherfucker. We all have our shortcomings. Ask somebody to read it. If you don't trust them, ask somebody else. Get a second opinion on that ass. Translate that shit. What year are we in, motherfucker? What year are we in? You getting your news out of magazine, nigga? Asserting that I won't pay for something isn't evil, no matter how hard you tell me that your dad died or that you, you were passionate and that it's a big deal for you and that you quit your job. You know, if that kind of nonsense worked on everyone, then people like DSP and Wings of Redemption would be millionaires. Because if we can't resist or restrain ourselves or think reasonably about what we should do with our hard-earned money, nigga, does this even need to be finished? What a joke, man. What did I say? Reality's the joke and people can't take it? You think we're the assholes for pointing out how comedic your shitty and universally accepted as bullshit takes are? Literal screenshot of your contradictions is a meme. Because of how poorly it ages, your inability to see your own hypocrisy is effortlessly more asshole than regarding us as anything for shaking our damn head at your stupid ass. Because you're so special, but not in the way you think. We can't go properly in on you either because we'd be shamed for picking on the br br brain damaged people, air quotes. Can I be honest, beta tester? Every time I open my mouth, I feel like I'm harnessing the energy of a games journalist's disappointed father. But an even worse version than exists in their fantasies to, you know, help them feel like they're super repressed. So... It's almost like a fetish thing, you know, like they like it's a humiliation king kind of cuck like, oh, no, I can I can be better. You can't put me down. It's like a motivational thing. It's almost like a they just they're trying to hype themselves up and their their dream, their, their brain version of their dad is telling them you can't do that. And you're like, I can do anything. I can change the world in their head. They're creating like Mary Sue situations. They're they're Lisa Simpson in their brain. You're Lisa, games journalist. You're doing it. Wow. Everyone's vegan now. They don't know it, but maybe I'll make them know it. You know what I mean? That's you. It's funny. <laughs> We're not assholes. You. You're the assholes. <laughs> I show Dia some of these things, man. And a laugh escapes her. Without permission. The best kind of laugh. Dia's the bubble queen of goody two-shoes lollipop niggas. And she can't can't grab that laugh like a kid just ran by and ran clean into something he's okay man but that laugh you're like Bruh. you know what i mean bro we're done we're done talking about this for right now you're bringing people together with this shit gaming industry and it'll make them as anything you disagree with is toxic so watch what you're doing Reel it the fuck in. What are you putting Sweet Baby on the front of games for? Have you niggas lost your mind? Y'all don't know what you're doing? Keep it up. Keep this up. This shit funny. Keep this up. Happy 12th month of the year celebration. Patronize me. Links are in the description. You can get to the wish list and clean it out. Get into the Discord. Follow me. You know what I. Oh, oh, you know? Okay. So thank you for being you and comment how you feel because I'm always reading. I appreciate whichever way that you lean and I never want you to feel as though you're ever going to be silenced for anything other than spamming man being a fucking little kid that doesn't belong in this community just just you know keep it simple I guess I mean you know whatever you know what I'm saying